What's up guys, it's Fernando Cruz from Seller Tradecraft. So I know a lot of people, especially the new sellers, really struggle with product selection. It can be one of the most frustrating parts of this business. And so I wanted to make this video to hopefully make it a little bit easier, a little bit better for you guys. And so that hopefully you guys can feel really confident into, into selecting that next product. And so for those of you guys that don't know, at this point, we've probably launched at least 300, maybe even 400 private label products. So we really know what we're doing, what we're looking for. And so, so what I wanted to do is show you this new tool that I just learned about a few weeks ago. I've been playing around with it for the last few weeks. I really, really like it. And it offers some really cool features that are a little bit different than like the kind of jungle scouts and market intelligence. And so I wanted to walk you guys through how to use this tool and some of my favorite features. So the tool is called AMZ Scout. And so I'm gonna use this niche as an example, uh, the hooded baby towel. I don't think truthfully this is a niche that I would go into today. So I definitely don't recommend you guys uh, going into it. It's pretty saturated, there's a lot of comparable products. But I think it's great for this example. Uh, so I wanted to show this to you guys. So this is the, the pro extension tool. Um, and so, you know, at the top, it's going to give you a lot of like the same stuff that you see uh, traditionally. So like there's like, you know, the, obviously the results, the monthly sales, average sales rank, average price, all that kind of stuff. I really like this niche score and I'm gonna come back to that. But so a lot of the cool stuff that's you know, really like easily integrated within AMC Scout is they've done a really cool job of making it kind of an all-inclusive tool specifically for product selection. So I can click on any specific product and you're like, okay, I like this one. Like I like this, this ducky one. And then, so I can just click here. It's gonna use the right keyword and then it's gonna to try to help me find these on Alibaba really, really quickly. And then so I'm gonna like see, okay, I can kind of eyeball this price just from here, which is great. So let's say, you know, maybe my price is gonna be around $3. And then what's awesome is then you can pull up the profit calculator from within the tool. So it's factoring in, you know, their pro their selling price. It's factoring in like the FBA fees and the referral fees. You know, maybe you're like, okay, well, I think it's gonna cost me $3, but it's also gonna be maybe 30 cents to ship each item. So my, oh, actually I almost separated this out. I forgot about that. So uh, I'm gonna add in 30 cents for freight here. You know, maybe I don't think that I'm gonna be able to sell it at $22 because these guys have more reviews. So maybe I'm gonna sell it at $20. But it's also gonna factor in, you know, it already has the weight in the product dimensions for you, which is cool. So if you wanna look at it at a quick glance, here they are just making sure that they're standard size. It's gonna factor in your monthly storage, your pick and pack fees, your referral fees, the 15% for this specific category on Amazon. It's gonna give you your estimated monthly sales. Again, this is probably a little bit inflated for us because, you know, this is a new product. So I would be probably you know factoring down maybe 50 percent or 40 percent just depending on how competitive the niche is but it's going to give me the you know total fba fees and it's going to give me my profit per unit and so this is you know really quick kind of back of the envelope map it still of course doesn't include you know if you have extra units in fba it's not accounting for that additional storage cost and then of course it's not factoring your ppc but yeah overall it's giving you a great quick rundown of whether you want to continue with this product or not, or continue researching this product to actually get quotes. And that's what I really like about it. So other cool features is you can get the keywords for it. So I think this is again, like where it's really well integrated. So you're not having to go to a separate tool to pull this kind of stuff up. You can get it from all within, uh, within the platform. You can also look at the product history. So it's gonna pull in a lot of historical information, which I think is super interesting. So, you know, for this like long period of time, like it seems like their, their sales dropped off. I, I'm assuming that they were out of stock, but you know, throughout like pretty consistently from like March of 2018 through right now, where it seems like their sales have actually ramped up a lot better, you know, for whatever reason, I'm surprised that they weren't doing nearly as well in Q4. So. I doubt it's a seasonal thing because it be this seems like a very giftable product, but you know maybe they raise their price. There's a lot of stuff that you can be. Oh, actually, you can see that yeah, their price has been pretty consistent. So yeah, I'm I'm very curious like what happened in during that very specific period of time. But you can at the end of the day you can go through that product history again all through within here. You can also 
go to Google Trends and Google Images to see other variations. So I think that's like a really interesting feature that you can do. But yeah, and then I think the other cool thing is that you can star items. So you're like, okay, I wanna come back to this one because it has my margin profile. You know what, actually I really like, you know, this like kind of bare one. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna come back to that one too. And then what's awesome is now these are saved. So you can quickly come back to these later and then you can export it to a CSV if you'd like, and then you can download it super easy to do. But yeah, overall, like I think that's like a really cool feature just to make sure that you're kind of improving your workflow when it comes to product selection. So the niche score. So this is an interesting one where it gives you a niche score. Yeah. And it's kind of telling you a few different, it's using a few different criteria, right? It's looking at your, your profit for the product. It's looking at the demand and then it's looking at the competition. And so I, I really want to give a disclaimer. I, I like things like this because I think it really simplifies things, especially for a newer seller. And I do think you should look at it and then, you know, judge for yourself how reliable you feel like this metric is. Again, like I just started using this, so it's hard for me to say, but I, I will say that you know coming up with your own way of evaluating these specific categories is really smart and then hopefully that you feel really confident in amz scouts or you're like okay i think they're really good at determining let's say the competition and the demand but like you know the profit i kind of want to run on my own separately and i think that's you know totally fine but i think like a tool like this can save you a ton of time and help point you in the right direction for which products are good versus like not as great. So yeah, I think that's a, a really cool feature. I was also playing around with these filters, which I think is, is really interesting. So, you know, you can actually filter through. So maybe you don't want to look at any products that are under $20, for instance, or that have over, I'm just making this up, but like over 150 reviews. Uh, you can also hide sponsored uh, products. I had never seen that before. Um, so I think that's another really cool feature. So you can do that. And then it's like, okay, wow, none really fit my criteria. And that's totally fine. So then maybe you would go to the next page. There's also this like where you extract the next five pages. And I think that's like pretty interesting. So you can save a ton of time by kind of going through filtering a bunch of different products and seeing how that goes. Okay, so I removed the filters for you guys so that you can see kind of a lot of the cool features that I like about AMZ Scout. So uh, kind of going through this. So I'm sure a lot of the guys have this, but I really like how easy it is to kind of arrange things by revenue. If I want to look at it like this, you know, they make it really easy to check the number of reviews. Again, that one's pretty standard. But again, what I really like about it that I think makes things really cool is this RPR. So RPR stands for, and you can, you can hover over it just to see, but it's monthly revenue per review. And so what that's telling me is how much revenue is coming from each one of these reviews, which is really important because it's kind of a gauge of like how much opportunity is, like, is in this niche. So there's one, you know, over $700. So that means they're doing 32K, only 45 reviews. That's pretty awesome. So that if you can come in with, let's say 23 reviews, you can possibly do about half that. That's assuming that you're able to get ranked and selling with 23 reviews, but it's just something to keep in mind that I really like. So some of the other cool features that I like is this niche score. And so they kind of break it down, you know, what they assume the profit is, you know, based on the demand and then the competition. I do think this is helpful, but again, I really believe in doing your own due diligence as you're kind of learning this. I would not only use something like this, especially as you're, you know, kind of getting your feet wet into the space and really starting to learn how the industry works.